So then, since we have a great high priest who has entered heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold firmly to what we believe. This high priest of ours understands our weaknesses, for he faced all of the same testings we do, yet he did not sin. So let us come boldly to the throne of our gracious God. There we will receive his mercy and we will find grace to help us when we need it. Nowhere in the Old Testament, nowhere in the New Testament does it say that we should be praying to people, to individuals, to apostles, to disciples, to special people, to statues, to idols. No one in the, nowhere in the Old Testament do people come and pray to the prophets. We don't see people coming and praying to Moses and saying, you know, Moses, because of you, can we, uh, can we talk to God? Our prayers are today a true biblical Christian prayer is a prayer that is said in the name of Christ. And it's not only saying, I pray in the name of Jesus. It is actually believing who Jesus is. Notice this passage says that he is the true high priest, Jesus, the Son of God. He is the Son of God. He's the only one worthy of being in the presence of God. He's both human and he's divine. He's a person and he's God. And because he died on the cross, because he came down to earth, because he's resurrected, he has that ability to intercede to God for us, to speak on our behalf. And because of that, we can approach Jesus. Because we have Jesus, we can approach God. Because I believe that Jesus Christ is God, I'm able to speak to God. 